hey you guys I'm back with another video this video might be a little longer um, this is about scamming like I said um, I think I've heard of this dude uh, punch made dev he's a youtuber but I guess this video is talking about him being a scammer I never I thought he did music but he says he I don't know somebody sent me like a link and they said that he was a scammer. I thought he was a rapper. But without further ado, y'all, let's just check this out and let's see if this is actually legit because this could be fake and they could be pretending like they scammers, but you know how this YouTube thing go. Let's, let's just check this out and see. I'm Tommy G. Today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only so you don't get scammed by people like this. No, this don't even look real. You can't even match a scam in real life. Oh, you need a pill. I used to press the. I can't even well, I, I, I nice, though. Now I got the feet hooked. It's hard to say. And then come back and say they love the pills. I know I love the pills. I can't lie. The process wasn't perfect. I killed my tester. I got to pay respects to my feet, Heather. Today we meet one of the most famous scammers on the internet, Punch Made Dead. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the internet. With oh, he's a scam rapper. I thought he was just a rapper. On social media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money and jewelry. Y'all, I got something to ask y'all. Can y'all give me the definition of a scam rapper? <laughs> I, I've never heard of that, that term. What is that? Hey, I asked him about the most common scams people are pulling right now so that we the people can better learn how to protect ourselves from scammers like him. The Does he really know how to scam people? Or first, is this just how scammers operate? And second, for a video. To encourage viewers to be the hero and not the villain. Not only is scamming a loser way to make money, but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison. Dang, 20 years in prison? Years about to see you for how the heck would you want to do that? Viewer discretion is advised. I'm hitting banks, dropping checks, cooking clothes, and cracking cars. Our job today is to explore the most common scam that are out there. How did that rhyme? That did not rhyme. And also meet a guy that is a true internet phenomenon and character. Punch made that. We're not taking any chances with this guy. We don't know how good of a scam we are. Oh, so they're going to hide their credit cards and stuff? In the glove box. Really? That's a dumb place to put it. You look like you're out of a movie scene. You don't think he wouldn't think to look in the, the glove box of a card? Oh, that's a nice house, man. Jewelry, money, guns. What's your social security number? I got yours. <laughs> How hard is it to scam somebody with that? Just their wallet. Bro, this actually this device. Bro, you look like a hacker, bro. <laughs> with that dang old computer, bro. Look like, like a freak. Like he be doing that on the daily. Like he a freaking hacker or something. They say I got it in my pocket like that. Or like, just like this on some shit. And you can just walk up to me and like, my bad, bro. Oh, and then I don't got it. I have everything. Yes, I'm Tommy G now. <laughs> so you can steal what? My credit card and my debit card. Anything but a chip. Now picture this. You have my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Yeah. You feel bad? No. Nah. Banks will give you the money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like if I had your first and last name, your social would come up every day. I could probably what? Uh, you say the social, know. everything would come up? Man, that's why people gotta be careful, bro. He said something T O L, and he can and get your first and last name, and then all your information to pop up. That's crazy. But he find out how to do stuff like this. So he's saying. So basically, he's saying he can get somebody's whole account. If I take money from you, you're gonna get the money back. Nobody's gonna hurt. I mean, it'll be fucked up if I sim swap you and then just start posting on your Instagram. Is that possible? Freak. Yes. You think you're a bad guy? Nah. I feel like it's worse people. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and lose. The rich is me. What wallet? He <laughs> said, I give to the, the poor. I take from the poor and the rich is me. That's crazy. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? <laughs> That's that crazy, bro. So just don't carry a wallet? Yeah, don't carry a wallet. That's the only way to avoid it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? 38. $38,000 just for the payment. How can I tell this is real or fake? 
Can I get a dab and test it? We can go to the German store. I'm not sure how illegal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes, a documentary. Don't ban this, don't strike this, don't age restrict it. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there like an exit strategy in this camera world? Because I feel like your, your clock's ticking. Bro, my clock's ticking. Why this could be like a form right? of self snitching. Yeah, you know? Does he realize what he's, what he's doing? doing? What's your guy's take on scam? Oh, the government scam. You be in a video yeah. saying you're a scammer. Yeah. Scam. What's the wood million and shit we take? What's that gonna hurt? All right, guys, let's hit the bank. What do you guys think? Okay, just because he said just because the go just because That's the crazy. government is scamming don't mean you yeah, got to. That tin can rattle to it. I mean, it's right for I you to do it. Tracks NYC and see if he can tell us if punch yeah. stuff is real or fake. Hey, I'm about to film someone doing something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm trying to find out how I can tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with Punch Made Dev, and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck, and I want to call tracks and see how we know if he's legit or not. Do you have any, like, photos being Why are you worried about his yeah. jury when you should be informing yeah, people of the scams that he made? I'm gonna hit a wire. What does that mean? Log in and uh, wire somebody up. I was trying to learn how to scale. That's what Tom was trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this episode was to protect dude. the like people he just... home from this type of tomfoolery. How much you gonna clean this guy up? If they'll give you 20, y'all do it. What's bro, what'd I say? what that say? You gonna wire transfer money? Bro, you got somebody account, account up with money? With money in it? Have you ever known someone that's I was trying to see how much the account said. I've almost been scammed myself. How did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people call you every day. Wait. Somebody called me yesterday and told me I had $2,500 worth of vacation points. And I've then, never signed up for anything. What should be the punishment for a scammer? Bro, she sound like she gets scammed. Look how she sound. She sounds like she's just, um, she believes everything. Has anyone attempted to scam you before? <laughs> yes. How did they do it? Oh, uh, my debit. And what happened to you when they tried to scam you? Uh, I just found a charge on my debit card that I didn't do. Who this is in Arizona. How much was it for? It wasn't a lot. It was only about $80. Did the bank refund you? Yeah. What should be the punishment for scammers? I'm not sure. See, I got their balance. She don't even know what the punishment should be for scammers. That's crazy. I'm going to just do a quick tender. Bro, he has somebody's account and he's stealing ten thousand dollars. Bro, you better hope they don't see that, bro, <laughs> and track you down, bro. But this video is kind of weird because I'm hoping this is fake. Because if he's really doing this for real, bro, he could get. He's basically telling on himself. If he does this for real, he's telling on himself. What do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years to back broke, and then you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long are you guys going to be in the game for before you're... I'm going to be like probably 30, then the best. Yeah. 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 Wow, they really gave him the money too. Bro, that's crazy. Nah, I think that's his own money. I don't think that's... I don't think he scammed somebody. I think that's his own money. From his own account. What's the most amount of money you ever? I'm sorry, y'all, about this, these ads. You know how YouTube is. It's time to raise your salad standards because we're about to fumble faster with a lot of clean. Let's check out. out see this little bit more. How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. What about the chain with it? We're gonna head to a gas station next and show you the next scam to avoid. What? Bro, he, there's no way he took $10,000 out of somebody else's account. That had to be his money. And this is for a bit, for the video. Like the MasterCards, I think I saw like a different jeweler actually post them who made them like a while ago. So yeah, it's real. Sorry, Punch my Dad, we thought you were fake. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, he got me? <laughs> no, no, he said it's real. Though. Yeah, I know, I was like, he got my bag, man, you know? Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought I was fake, because the clunking sound. Every day, it sound like that. Don't sound like that. You need to be looking suspicious. I will admit that I was wrong, plus I know nothing about blame. So we're getting into skimmers yeah. and dumps. And what's a dump? So say if I wanted to write up the dump, right? Dump? Like what is that? Down, okay. A 101 or a 201. So I get the information on my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because... What? Bro, is he real? Bro, if the feds see this or any type of FBI or... Government people, bro, 
You are yeah, literally a certified dumper. This is where they're on their radar. radar. They can either be the person getting the dumps with the skimmer, or they can be the person right there. And they go. Say like, I know come somebody in, somebody bro. Find out where you stay in a rest your behind. Say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay right. And then my person will quickly go like this, right, right, swipe right. it on the up uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. Try to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump one for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison? Exactly. No how are you not, not in federal, federal prison? prison. The RDP. The way he so literally like, just told how he been sta staying away from them, bro. Right. Yeah. Man, they finna get this dude. <laughs> He's so gonna get, get this NBA dude NBA punch NBA man down, bro. Like he just told them how he be blocking, keeping away from him. All right, if so now I get him. I'm gonna run this dude. So now I just wrote somebody else's info over here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a six hundred dollar balance. Where what? We gotta get everything free real quick. So he's about to clean somebody's bank account, and they only got six hundred dollars in that account. The bank guys, they really do. You're sure. For something small like this, that was a wire that would be like 10 to 14. This is when you get a message on your phone. Like, yeah, yeah. was this you? And you yeah. say no, and then they reimburse you. Give it back in like less than 24 hours. Tastes better, feels better when it's free. Who <laughs> does it? I'm going to spend my own hard earned money. They can spend the, the other guy's money. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried to scam you before? Yeah, of course. In what way? Well, how did they try and do it? Oh, I got you know, scammed on a puppy thing online. You had to pay a down payment for a puppy and then there was no puppy? They were trying to with like fake pictures and then I just canceled it because I said this feels like a scam. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? Have to say. What would you say if you met a scammer? How, would, how do people not know what the punishment for a scammer should be? <laughs> it should be jail time. It should be jail time for a scammer. In the next 24 hours, I'll be calling you. Everybody he asked said they don't know. It should be jail time. If somebody asked me what is the punishment for a scammer, I would say some jail time. What do you mean? It's crazy. Uh, man, you can put that up here. Everything's free today. I know I said the same thing. <laughs> they call him what? Punch Dab. Okay, who is he? Punch Man Dab, how would you describe yourself? A great person. Uh, Very caring. Uh, also, he would describe himself as a rapper or a scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she just said, okay. But at first, she was like, I'm a punch a scammer. But then, he told her that he he's a scammer, and she's just like, and he came okay. Out $10, what? It works. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's funny how their tune changes as soon as the scammers help them them. They don't care. Exactly. That's crazy. <laughs> Which I can see why. People are complicated. You know, people are very complicated. I heard the guy that's car that is was working hard at McDonald's for 10 hours for that money. Oh, yeah. He's working pretty well. He's winning his credit. Also, the dude he was going to take the money from, the $600? What? That didn't even rhyme. He's rapping about scamming. I mean, at least if you're going to rap about scamming, at least make it rhyme. How is an ordinary person stop that from happening? Dude, there's no way. Just if you lose your debit card, shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it, though. You'll just go. So like you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I have somebody at, at the inside, like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then card goes by. To so the next. All right, all right. This is what I gotta say, y'all, because I don't want to make the video too long. My thing is, I'm really hoping this Punch Made Dev. I think he's a YouTuber. I'm really hoping that all of this stuff is just for the a YouTube video. I'm really hoping that all of this is fake, and the money he took out the bank was his money from his YouTube account or whatever account that's his and he's not really scamming people because why would a scammer want to get on camera this is what I'm confused with I'm having I'm going back and forth in my mind why would a scammer get on camera for a YouTube video and confess to all the scamming that he's been doing and literally show you in great detail exactly how he does it and exactly how he gets away with it. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's why I feel like this is all fake. It's staged for a YouTube video. But like I said, I really hope this dude 
is really not scamming people. Punch made death. And he and that money he took out, out of the bank was his money from his YouTube or whatever. Because he is a YouTuber. So I'm really hoping that was his money that he took out the bank. But man, I'm going to end this video on this note, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Have y'all ever been scammed? Please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear uh, what you have to say. I appreciate all you guys. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Like I say in all my videos, I'm going to try to be as consistent as I possibly can be on my days off from work. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next uh, reaction. Peace out.